here today uh, to protest in particular against the disgraceful fact that even though Chris Bowen, the Immigration Minister, uh, promised us last year that all children would be out of detention by June 2011, the disgraceful fact is that today there's still 392 children locked up in detention centres uh, across Australia and somewhere between 70 and 80 of them are in this detention centre up the road here at Broadmeadows. So that's why we're here today, to point out the absolute hypocrisy of the Labor government and the absolute disgrace that is con the continuation of children being locked up in detention. We're just like you and me. And all they want, and all they want up the road is a fair go in life which each and every human on this planet deserves the right for freedom. Ooh. So I guess what our jobs are to do is to keep campaigning, try and make this group bigger, and just keep on campaigning and send a loud and strong message to our federal politicians. We are going to continue to campaign until all refugees are free. What are these places? What are these detention centres? They're prisons where we warehouse people who we consider undesirable. We classify them as undesirable based on their class, their religion, their culture, their ethnicity. And then after we imprison them, we make a spectacle out of their torture and their punishment to convince the public that they're being kept safe from a threat that never existed in the first place. That's not a detention center, that's a concentration camp. Detention center is a polite euphemism for why these places actually exist and what actually happens here. You know, these are places where people have routinely uh, committed suicide, attempted suicide, where children have attempted suicide. How many of us have friends who've been in detention for two, three, four, five, six, seven years, and uh, after that have said that they would rather take their chances back in a place like Afghanistan or Iraq or Sri Lanka rather than waste as an innocent person running away in a prison with no hope in sight. I know people who have suffered and survived civil war, people who have survived genocide, people who have lived as illegals for years in foreign countries, but only after coming to Australia and only after being in detention here has their spirit finally been broken. So that's what we can be proud of in Australia, that we've actually engineered a system of bureaucracy and internment that is so vicious that it can break even the strongest people. Camps! Free the refugees! Open the borders! Close the camps! Free the refugees! Free the refugees! Free, free the refugees! Free, free the refugees! Free, free the refugees! Free, free the refugees!